Shalom. So I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but we have a woman who was shooting at drivers in Florida during the solar eclipse because she said God told her to. During the solar eclipse, I don't know if you guys heard about this story. The story is on is is surfacing. And um yeah, this this woman just started shooting vehicles on the highway after she said God told her to go on a shooting spree in reaction to the solar eclipse. The 22-year-old woman named Taylor Nichelle Celestine began to open fire on multiple cars on the interstate striking multiple ve uh, vehicles. And she was just shooting at cars in the interstate. Uh, one driver got grazed by the shattered glass and she was driving and shooting while she was driving and she ended up shooting a second vehicle and this driver got hit in the neck and he was taken to a, a nearby hospital and state troopers found her and they also found an AR-15 and 9mm handgun inside her purple Dodge Challenger. Uh, Celestine has been booked into the Holmes uh, Caddy Jail. And she's being held without bond pending on an initial court appearance. And she has, she has with, uh, she has been charged with attempted murder, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and uh, improper discharge of a firearm. You see, some people think that the that the solar eclipse was just a solar eclipse. Okay? People were waiting for wonders and signs. And the Bible made it clear about the solar eclipse. The scriptures, the Bible made it clear about that. Um... The solar eclipse literally lasted between, what, three to four minutes? Now, for the spiritual carnal people who was just looking up at it, and to them it was like, ah, oh, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, my friend, my friend, my friend. My spiritual, my non-spiritual carnell friend who is still on the blue pill who doesn't believe in any of this so much was happening in the spiritual during that solar eclipse some people said they were getting headaches some people got dizzy um i don't i don't know about some of you but uh but I was looking right at it without the glasses. You know, you know how NASA, uh, NASA's telling people on how the media is. Don't don't look at the sun. Don't look at the sun. Don't look at this, man. They 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 be lying, man. Look at the sun. Stare at it. And a lot of those people who be squinting at you, squinting at the sun. Oh, before I continue, let me tell you something. Y'all want to piss off gang stalkers? Y'all know these low vibrational demons and these low vibrational people that come around you. They get mad when you look at the sun. They they look at it, squint. They look at you. <laughs> they that's what they do. They gnash, sniff, and they look at another. Like demons hate the light. Demons hate light. Demons hate high energy because they operate on low frequency. So because you tss, unplug from the matrix, you spiritually awakened. You are on semen retention. You are a magnet. Your vibration, fre bing, <laughs> your frequency is high. So you could just be staring at the sun and you just vibrate. It's good for us. The sun is good for us. They don't want you to, they don't want you to know that the sun is good for us. That's why they be chemtrailing and blocking the sun so we can't get it. But it still be breaking through. 
So these gang stalkers be getting pissed off when the sun is out and you staring at it and they be trying to look at it and they be squinting their eyes, but they look at you and they see you just looking at it and you feel that energy just, it's good for you. Oh, it feels so amazing. They <laughs> coding one another, demons coding one another. That's all low vibrational what they're doing, but they gnash. So to piss them off, look at the sun, feel that breeze, feel all that energy, feel the breeze, look at nature, that pisses them off. So yeah. Uh, people were getting dizzy, they were getting headaches, people were complaining about that, but I don't know about y'all, man, but I was looking at it on the roof, just staring at it, and I felt energy. I felt energy. It was like, it was like this pressure that was like all over my body, like like a tightness. And, you know, I was listening to, to good music at the same time, to go with the scenery, all positive and it was just oh it was a it was just great man it was it was a great feeling Ooh, but a, a lot of things was was happening during that solar eclipse you know i mean i i don't know about y'all but um you know i was literally seeing people's faces changing into more demons their skins was changing their teeth were changing literally People's faces would change it. I mean, they do it on the regular. When when you want to open that and you want to see who they are, you see their faces change, the skin. You know, you know, you you see all of that. But after I saw all of that, felt this all the all this energy, I was feeling things. When I when I finished watching it from the roof, when I ran, went back downstairs, and then when it was just people walking by, when I was in contact with people just walking about my day but i had to go to destination surrounded by people i saw their faces changing into demons you know what i'm saying their skin was changing and people was acting more and more weird bad enough the matrix has crashed it's over yeah i see them out here they, they don't even know they don't have con they don't have control of where they're going you know what i'm saying they, they don't have control they all controlled npcs Robots, AIs, people, non-humans, they're glitching, they're astral projecting. It's a mess out here. The Matrix is crashing. It's done. It's done. You know? And people who's looking up, who's non-spiritual, just looking at this, and they were like, that's it? Three to four seconds, you saw darkness, and then it went to like, that's it? That's it? It's done? No, 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 my friend. First off, that's God showing you signs okay that's literally god and the solar eclipse is his anger okay okay that's his that that's that's his anger but he's showing you signs not only that why 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 you non-spiritual people which you yeah, better get spiritual I, I already broke i gave you a blueprint turn to yeshua he'll lift up the veil from your eyes so you can see them why else would CERN be ready to test the most powerful accelerator during the solar eclipse? To search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. That's not what they were doing, bro. Let me tell you something. They were opening portals. And there were demons coming through those portals. Literally demons coming through those portals and that woman who started shooting at people on Florida just shooting because she said God told her to dur during the solar eclipse no 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 that wasn't God that was the demons that was the devil God don't God don't do that that was portals was open these demons were flying out of these portals going into people and also still shape shifting but come on yo <laughs> demons was literally coming out of these portals. I mean, haven't y'all seen the show Stranger Things that's on Netflix? And um that that show put the truth right in your face too. Literally. Did you see how the portals were being uh opened in that show and how those demons were coming through it? Not only were they were coming through it, but um but you don't think it's a coincidence that they would do a show like that and show you these underground base and how they were testing people to see how they are and not only trying to see how they are
but these people have powers and abilities too. And then um, they were trying to merge two worlds together. Y'all saw the portals in, in that show. If you haven't seen the show, the show literally put the truth in your face. There's portals. Demons is coming through. They're trying to merge the worlds together. It, it's spiritual, but they put the truth in your face. And that's what was happening. That's actually what is happening with CERN and what they're doing. Listen, if y'all think, if y'all think that we are the only human race in this world, y'all still asleep and y'all have not woke up. If y'all literally still think that we are the only humans walking this earth right now, and the only humans in this world, that there is nothing else besides us, you're still asleep and you haven't woke up. <laughs> Y'all better wake up because <laughs> they're walking among you in people and they're also shape-shifting into people as well. And these non-humans, okay, these non-humans, the one that you're thinking that they're human, but they're not. These non-humans need to keep living. And how do they keep living? They keep living by drinking blood. That's how they live. That's how they get their powers, by drinking blood. Hence... The missing people is it making sense to you ladies and gentlemen and uh, it's only a matter of time it's literally only a matter of time before they start showing you who they really are literally who they true who they truly are if I can see their faces change their skin change their teeth change and if I could see them walking this world that ain't even human. And then also I could see those who are human but are possessed by them. But I see the ones who aren't. It's just a matter of time before they sh they they're gonna they're gonna reveal themselves. It's just a matter of time. Oh man. Listen, the movie they I, I I've named all these movies, but the but the movie they live. They live, put the truth in your face. Those black shades that that man wore in that movie, those shades represented his spiritual awakened eyes. When he put the shades on in the movie, the black shades, when he put the black shades on, that was the veil being lifted and he was able to see the truth and the unseen. And then when he took the shades off, he saw everything looking on. He saw people walking past him. He saw posters and all that. He was like, huh? Then when he put the shades back on, he saw the same people walking past him. But this time, he saw people's faces. Some of them were demons walking amongst with the people in disguise. Then he saw posters and signs with hidden the real truth. And then when he took it off, the posters were showing distractions. That's the truth in your face. And if you haven't seen the movie, go watch the movie. They live. That's the truth. That's the truth. And then the movie Fallen with Denzel Washington, that is also the truth. That is the gang stalking as well. Not only the Truman Show, but that is the gang stalking. How, they, how you see people looking weird, acting weird, all staring at you. How they staring at you, coding one another. They're low vibration. These are demons in people whoo, jumping into them. And also some of them are not human as well. But that movie told the truth in your face too. With Denzel Washington. Fallen. Those were demons. Fallen angels jumping into people. And Denzel, he was chosen to see all of that. They put the truth in your face. <laughs> These demons... Have been here for years. And as this matrix continues to crash. More and more. And glitch more and more. And all the stuff that's happening with the celebrities. and also 
coming to light as it is going to continue to come to light. Everything is going to come to light. Everything with celebrities, with politicians, with the people in the church. Everything is going to come to light. That's why they're building doomsday bunkers because we at the end. And then the demons are actually going to start showing y'all who they really are. Y'all going to start looking at people here walking past y'all and as a demon. You're going to, what the hell? Yeah, man. Come on. It's, it's in your face. It's in, it's in your face. And they're not gonna they're not gonna hide. Remember, this is not a wrestling match against a human opponent. We are wrestling with rulers, authorities, the power who governs this world of darkness, and spiritual forces that control evil. Spiritual forces that control evil in the heavenly places. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Spiritual forces. That control evil. Okay, so you got the you got the rulers, the authorities, those who govern this world of darkness. But the ones who are behind it all is the spiritual forces that control evil in the heavenly places. They're controlling them. There's a spirit behind everything that people do. And then there are those also that you see on TV, also in in, in the government, the White House, and all. They ain't human. They walking among y'all. They walking among y'all. I keep telling y'all, the actions of people are not on their free will. There are spirits controlling these people and making them do what they want them to do. That is all low vibrational and evil that's going to put their lives in, the, in danger because these demons, reptilians, draconians, the Nephilim, they hate you. They're here to destroy your life. They're trying to destroy mankind, humans. And also, they have to still keep living by drinking blood. So they're trying to destroy the planet, destroy you, and keep drinking blood so they can keep living here. But it's, 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 the, the Most High is coming back. Yeshua is coming back. This is all going to be destroyed. He's going to save his people who call out to him and repent. But this world is going to get destroyed. And they know it. That's why they're trying to block the sun. They're doing things to also block our frequencies to try to keep us at a low vibration, which is what they, which is what a lot of these people are. Those of y'all who unplug from the matrix, the veil, the most high lifted, the veil from your eyes, you can see spirit, the, 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 these demons. And not only that, as you spiritually awaken, your frequency already went high. And as you on semen retention at the same time, woo, bro, you are a magnet. You are attracting everything. Everybody's coming your way. Everybody. Everybody. And these demons want to keep you at a low vibration. And that's when they come after y'all who woke up and tss, unplugged from the matrix and all of y'all who's who's being celibate and retaining and, and, and just trying your best, you are a magnet, your vibration is high. And that's why everyone is coming your way because a, a majority of them are operating on a low frequency, low vibration. You are high. That's why they are all coming your way. These energy vampires, these low vibrational beings. They are all coming your way to get an attention out of you, the succubus, the Jezebel, the demons. They they want a piece of that. They want you. They want it. They want it. They want it. And that's why you're spiritually gang stalked by these monetary spirits when you tss, unplug from this matrix and you spiritually awaken. And that's that's where your gang stalking begins. Now I already broke it down to you about how they, you know. The, the, the Homeland Security, government, FBI, we already know, whistleblower spoke out. There is a list. They're throwing your name on this list. Terrorist, uh, blacklist, watch list. This in the physical. There is a list. They're throwing innocent people's names on it. They're being gang stalked. Yeah, even your jobs is doing it too. Illegally gang stalking people. And then in the spiritual is demons that are not human and also in people controlling them. Because they see your light. Your shoe is the light of the world. You are the light too. Your frequency is high. And they got they want to be around that. They don't want people to be operating on a high frequency. The matrix don't want that. The matrix wants everybody on a low frequency. 
negative, negative. That's why they brainwash you and, and, and bring all this garbage so y'all could be watching certain things. They're trying to brainwash y'all to keep y'all on low. And they watch those who unplug from the matrix, out of the box thinkers, keeping your energy high, being positive, ex exposing the kingdom of darkness, bringing things to light. They're going to watch you hard. And not only that, they see that your subscribers is going up. Then on social media, they see that people are tuning into you. They're like, uh-oh, he or she, this person here is, 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 is influencing people. Remember I told you, there's, there, there's literally a spiritual warfare. So they have influencers for good and bad. And they want, they want you. They want you on their side. That's why they're watching you hard too. Because of what you're talking about and what you're bringing to light. But they they focus in more because this is all they, they this is all spiritual. So they 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 gang stalking you and watching you because your energy is high. All of these people, remember, all of these gang stalkers are operating on low. So they're gonna be drawn to you because they're energy vampires. A lot of them are in the occult, a lot of them are Satanists, a lot of them are witches, a lot of them are not even human, they are demons. Shape shifting into human, into children, into animals. This is yo, it gets deep. The rabbit hole, it goes down. Not only that, all this is in your face. Even if you go on social media, even the stuff that I bring to light, it's in your face. 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 There's nothing new under the sun. So when people start bringing up certain topics and when certain things start being brought to light, we just sit back and go, we knew. We knew about this already. This isn't a shocker to us. But for some other people, I'm glad they're waking up and go, yo, did you hear the news? Did, yo, this is crazy. Uh, 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 Hollywood and uh, the media, uh, Satanist worshipers, like, do you see what they're doing? We just sit back and go, yeah, we knew all along. We've been awake for too long trying to wake you up. And sometimes we just sit back, just watch the thing happen, and then applaud those who we see start to... <laughs> unplug from the matrix and then we see how how excited that they get you know but they 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 start watching your heart especially when they see that you having subs you having subscribers they be like yo he or she this person's an influencer this person is influencing people they're watching this individual and look at what this person's saying they got that's why they watch you hard because now they're seeing what you're saying now they're seeing what you're saying but not only that your gang stalkers also subscribe to you Go on social media. Even those who know you, they make fake accounts. They go on your YouTube. They go on your social media too. They create fake accounts too. The phonies. You know, even those who are applauding you in secret, but they got to do it secretly because they, they talked about you around certain people. They don't want to look a certain way, you know? Y'all know what's up already. This is all spiritual, but y'all operate, y'all yeah, 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 high and everybody's on low. That's 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 what that's when your gang stalking kicks in. From, from the physical, I always broke it down, but it's spiritual too. When it's spiritual, tss, these demons, that's when they come. The fallen angels, the Nephilims, the reptilians, the draconians. You're going to see the unseen. You're going to see what the world don't see when you spiritually awaken. And that's why the Matrix and these people make they try to make you, who talk like this, appear crazy. But they know what's up. A lot of y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up already. This has all been getting exposed. This is all coming to light. Even, even the situations with these Hollywood celebrities, the Diddy situation. This is all coming to light. This is all a connection. Connections. Gang stalking. All of, it's a connection. It's spiritual. Spiritual. Warfare. Spiritual warfare, y'all. And that's why you're gang stalking. And all these people coming your way, they are operating on low energy, low vibration. And you are on semen retention and you unplug from the matrix. So you are also protecting your peace, being by yourself. You're automatically a magnet to them. You are a magnet. You're going to attract. You're going to attract. You're going to attract... Good energy, and also you're gonna attract the toxic ones and the and 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 the bad ones. Everything is coming your way. 
And they're going to do everything to look at you, look at you, try to get your attention. They make eye contact. Like, they're going to do everything. Flip. Yo, I'm telling you, it's a war out here. <laughs> it is. But it's all about energy. It's all about vibration. It's spiritual. It is. Man. And they, and, and they, they really want a piece of your energy. You know? But... I felt that solar eclipse. I felt that energy. And then all of a sudden, this article happens. That lady just started shooting during a solar eclipse and said God told her to do it. That was already the demons in her ears and the devil. They were in her ears, controlled her, possessed her, and they made her do that. They made her. They controlled her to do that. Yeah, that's what happened. And these portals are opened and there's more demons flying and there are more demons jumping into people. It's just going to get weirder and weirder and weirder, yo. We are literally at the end of times, the last days. Yeah, I better wake up and get spiritual because they walk among you. They walk among you. And we are not the only humans on this planet. We're not. A lot of them, they want your energy. And they're gonna they're gonna try they're gonna do everything in their power to try to get that energy. That's what they're trying their best, even to flirt with you, even to try to get your attention to lust after them. Cause they that the succubus is going crazy, the Jezebel. These they're going crazy. They want that. But when you have discernment, choo, 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 you see these agents. You see them. You see them, you see what they do. Man. With discernment, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna see these agents. So, protect your peace and energy. Stay close to the most high at all times. And, you know, um, keep this in mind. Earthquake was 4.8. The eclipse was on April 8th, right? 4.8. Earthquake 4.8. 4.8 Eclipse was on 4.8 Let's go to Exodus Chapter 4 verse 8 The Lord said If they do not believe you Or pay attention To the first sign Which is the earthquakes and all, all, this, all these signs To the first sign They may believe The second Which was the solar eclipse The Lord said if they do not believe you or pay attention to the first sign, they may believe the second. Don't don't focus too much on the on the people when you want to see the signs and when God when He speaks and when He when, when He when He's showing the signs. The signs come from from the heavens, the earth. That's how He shows His signs from the from what you see in the heavens. And what he does on earth with the earthquakes, with the floods, the, the miracle, the things that he does. Pay, that's how you pay attention to, to the signs of what's happening in the heavens and the skies and what's happening in the earth. Don't worry too much about the people. Yeah, stay alert. But the signs is going to be what he does in the skies and on the earth. And then, of course, there is going to be signs... Of people short doing things and don't fall for that either. The most high told you, be warned. He warned you, have discernment. Because you're gonna start seeing people do certain things. And they're gonna be it's gonna make you go, yo, that's crazy. Don't don't fall for it. That's why they're doing the project blue beam. That's why they're doing things that they're doing now. The, that's why they're doing all of this now. So when him when the most high does come. They're gonna try to make it look like an alien invasion. They're they're already preparing. Why you think you see CGI advancing the way it is? Yeah, I gotta ask for discernment, man. Yeah, I gotta discern in these end times. Discern. Discernment is key. Yeah, stay safe. Stay prayed up. Repent to the most high. Until the next video.